So I'm not saying that Mr. Chauvin is correct at all. What I'm saying is, is that if that's my client, and he's standing up and he's breathing and he's not in the car and he's breathing. He says he's not breathing and he's making that argument. I'm going to make the argument that 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 claim is diminished when he's on the ground at that point. That's the point that I'm making. I mean, I disagree. Obviously, I feel like if, if he's saying that I can't breathe, uh, even as they're getting him into the car, it, it, it's almost like all the officers are on notice. Someone's having an issue. He may be having a heart attack. He may be having uh, maybe a panic. It could, it's something, but there's clearly health, something that's health related, urgent enough that he's saying, I can't breathe. Something was happening to him, uh, possibly prior to even being on the ground. And what happened on the ground with Officer Chauvin's uh, knee on his neck probably exacerbated it and led him to his death. I, I understand that you, you disagree, and, and, I, and, I, and that's okay. That's why we have trials. But I'm a criminal defense exactly. lawyer, and I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it from the perspective of, of what I would do if that was my client, what where I would of be. Of course. And that's just the perspective. And I understand that. And I understand that, and I respect that. If obviously I was a criminal defense attorney in this case, I would make the same argument. And that's and maybe they will they will carry weight with a jury. The the issue is we're basically arguing based on what we have, and we're each taken aside, and we're all entitled to our every defendant, of regardless of who it is. We all know they're entitled to a defense, the best defense possible, and we all believe in that. Mm -hmm.